Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video. Today we want to take a look at stacks. I had a lot of uh, member requests for STX um, and um, we want to take a look at the charts. So obviously it's it's a chart that um, actually has a decent chart history. I consider the count um, the same as for some other cryptocurrencies. It's actually, it's actually not too bad. Shows here a wave one that peaked in April 21, then an A wave down, quite a strong A wave though, which is not great though. Um, then an overshooting B wave and a C wave. Now, if we take a look here at Fibonacci uh, retracements, you can see that this did overshoot, but it did not break above the 1.38 Fib retracement of the A wave, which is fine. So it's acceptable for an overshooting B wave. Yeah, if it had it gone above 382, I wouldn't be able to count it as an overshooting B wave, but at the moment I can. And then we came down in a C wave and. You know, it all depends on what the chart does now in terms of, you know, is the bear market low already in or not? That's the same question that we have for Bitcoin Ethereum. We don't have enough information yet because also this rally is only in three waves so far. Um, I think the what what is relevant, obviously, we've got a rally here. Um, typically, you know, typically there's no point ch chasing. I would wait for clarity by getting a... Um, by getting a you know a proper pullback um, at the moment it might just be doing its fifth wave you know so we have here a possible let me just do that we have here a possible um, wave one to the upside possible wave two it's a bit messy what happened here and then this could be a three here a four and we might just be doing a fifth wave to the upside um, if we now get this fifth wave, what, what would be target? I mean, first of all, let's establish how far down did, did that possible wave four actually go. And if we draw the FIPS, I just need to use the other tool. Then you can see it reached the 50% retracement. So that's all good. Yeah, a wave four that reaches the 50% retracement is fine, uh, as long as it doesn't really break below it substantially. So for now, you know, we're holding support and we rally higher um it's possible that we're currently putting in this fifth wave so we had a possible one a two a three a four and a possible fifth wave what would be a target for that fifth wave so we take the length of one to three go to the low of the fourth and then we're looking at possible target levels next one is actually 95.5 cents that would be an ideal target here for the third wave 95.5 when we might actually get there um, it's putting in something that you could consider here an ending diagonal. It's typically a pattern of exhaustion, um, but um, at the moment it doesn't make any, it doesn't give us any sign that it has stopped yet. So 95.5 cents, if it extends 120, uh, is possible as well. Uh, that would be the next target if it breaks above 95.5. Um, if we add the VRVP just to sort of look at historical volume, you can see that there is basically an insufficiency of historical volume. That's probably why it rallied so much. And then really it starts to pick up again around 120. So there's actually quite a bit of an insufficiency around this region here, around the 95 cent level. So it might very well be that we're going to extend it, but just be aware of these resistance areas. These are basically um, key levels. Now it's not the most reliable account because what I want to see normally first is a complete five wave move and then a three wave move down to indicate that the trend has indeed shifted back to the upside. Because what you need by a per, as per Elliott wave, you need the five waves up as a wave one, and then in a wave two, the pullback is normally giving you the the truth, you know, the uh, it's going to filter. Is it just a, like a bear rally and it's gonna make a new low or do we actually hold wave two support? So as soon as I can see that this fifth wave of the first is finished, I can give you a possible um, yeah, a, a possible pullback area for finding support. This will typically take quite long as well because this rally started in January or end of December. So also here, this will probably take a couple of months to play out this wave two retracement. But for now we are rallying, um, but as you can see, it's getting quite messy up there. Um, so I, I would at the moment assume that we came down here in a in a wave four, yeah, and we're now rallying in the fifth wave. Alternatively, it could be that the wave four is still ongoing. And what we're doing here is just some kind of an expanded or running flat pattern. 
um, because it's quite choppy, so it could be a corrective move to the upside. That's sometimes what happens in a fourth wave, yeah. Um, but there's probably at the moment not really, a, you know, a way to know that for sure. So um, we need to keep options open here. But in both scenarios, we can probably still climb a little higher. Um, but I don't see a clear setup at this stage. Yeah. So there's no clear setup. The clear setup will appear after wave five has topped. Um, so let's let's see. I gave you target for the fifth wave. Trying to do a bit of micro counting here is a bit tricky because it is it is a bit messy. You know, you could maybe argue you know, it's often pointless, um, especially when you have a messy structure like that. I mean, maybe this was one, two, three, four, and we put the five in at the moment, but it could also be that all of this was part of the fourth wave, A, B, C. Yeah, this is a bit unclear. So um, I would say, don't know if we can put a put some kind of a wedge pattern on here. I mean, it's getting into the apex now, yeah? It's heading into the, but it can still push higher. So maybe it will reach that 95 cent level, let's see. Um, if it really drops below that wedge pattern, sort of diagonal pattern, if it breaks below it, then it would be a warning that um, we head down lower and possibly we'll retest first sort of the 60 cent area. Yeah, be up around the previous way for low. Yeah, that's my update about um, stacks. So hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.